Let's turn to our top take stories we're watching today in today's market. On Saturday, Berkshire Hathaway's Warren Buffett will publish his much-awaited shareholder letter, and investors are keen to see whether the billionaire is any closer to that elephant-sized acquisition he hoped for last year and the year before and the year before. I mean, it's, it's like not going to happen. So he has, they've been talking about this for so long, but they always say that while they want to buy something, prices are just too high yeah. to well, justify. They've been that way for 10 years because we haven't had a recession. He deploys his capital when there's blood on the streets, and he's, he's made some deals like Occidental Petroleum, I think is his latest big one, mm -hmm. but they're not mega deals. And I don't think that's going to happen until we really roll over and there's something truly cheap. Which I, I mean, yeah, he, we're going to have to really go. Now it was a it was well. a very it was a very menial position within the portfolio, but they disclosed that they bought um, like S and P <laughs> funds, like for, bought, for, bought Vanguard yeah. index funds. It's for their retirement fund or something right. like that. So, but it's you know he has all this cash, and you know to Jared's point, like I don't think Warren Buffett's just going to say, you know what, I got to got to buy something, got to buy something. Yeah. Now the other thing too with his whole acquisitive strategy that I, I think we we often forget about sometimes is um, you know we're we're imagining what public company might he buy, what kind of sector would he want to be mm -hmm. in. Um, but you know there's I mean one of his bigger um, acquisitions is is the uh, what is it the Van Tile car dealers, right? He bought them in 2014, seven billion dollars on private national car dealership. Mm -hmm. So you wonder like. Are there those kinds of deals, your 10 to $20 billion private company that you're not thinking about that he can bring into the fold? Like Flying that he really J. Likes? Right, those I mean, kind of um, right, he has the option to, he, he will buy that, I yeah. think, 2023, rest, yeah. I think, is the end of it. Um, is he going to break into the streaming wars? And yeah, buy right, exactly. like he's not no. going to, he's not going to come <laughs> in and be like, oh, I've decided I'm now purchasing all of, uh, you know, I'm getting finance from Goldman and we're buying Apple or whatever, something like that. So, um, I, but I, I think everyone is so fixated on this, what's he going to do with his money, what's he going to do with his money? I think the reality is like, I would kind of take the bet on Warren Buffett's time at Berkshire Hathaway comes to an end before we see some massive deploying of hundreds of billions of dollars in one shot. Because, um, again, he looks for dislocations in the market. And while we have seen some dislocation-ish things, at least in the financial market, yep. economically, it's hard to see what would be on the horizon that would create a similar scenario energy. where there'd be true blood on the streets. Right. I mean, He's already played in energy yeah. now. Yeah. So what's he going to say? And we all know energy is a value drop. He's not, <laughs> he's not going to reveal some big position here. Is I mean, he going to maybe. talk about Wells Fargo? Is he going to talk about craft? Yeah. Or will he? I hope so. Yeah. Hope. These might be meeting topics, though. Well, That's yes. the thing. Does he uh, pull Larry Fink yeah. and talk, go political, talk about climate? I mean, what are the, the areas we could see him step into? I mean, I was just reading 2019 and, and 2018. I mean, they're wide ranging. You've covered many of these. Yes. They're not usually full of surprises. He doesn't support political candidates or go all in on that, does he? Hillary? He won't at this point. Yeah. No, I mean, he held, you know, he did an event with Hillary, but it was mm -hmm. really about, um, you know, he's done a lot for women's health in the Omaha area. So when Hillary comes to Nebraska for an event, he might appear at the event, but he's pushing his cause alongside her. But he will wait for the, that'll be a October mm -hmm. 2020 thing. He's not going to come out in February and say, I like this candidate while there's still seven other candidates trying to, yes. you know, run for the, for the nomination. Yeah. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.